gonna get right into it. Right into it. <laughs> I hear a lot of reggae undertones in your music. Yeah. Is that a great point of influence in your life? My mom and dad are, are Caribbean, mm -hmm. and that was how I was. They immigrated to Canada, so I'm actually the only person born in Canada in my whole family. So it's really important for me to express that side of my culture, the big part of my culture, because even though I grew up in North America, I was raised very traditionally West Indian. So the food and the music and the upbringing and the, you know, the discipline was all West Indian culture. So it, it is a big part of who I am. And I, I can't really help it. It comes out of my shows and, you know, my live performances. And, and definitely when I'm in the studio, I always have to include that. When it comes to my style, I love mixing old and new just because uh -huh. I always feel like I'm an old soul and I always, try to incorporate that but I just love unique pieces and I'm, I'm it's kind of like a boho rock kind of thing that I do because yeah. I just don't ever want to get stuck in one style and have to stay that way and I feel like my personality is really chill and laid back and uh -huh. although I appreciate the cuts and you know and s designs of couture clothing uh -huh. I feel like there's a way to mix that in with like a bohemian yeah. you know look that just always keeps you or keeps me in the realm of like what my music is and just the type of person that I am because like Truly, I could wear like six inch stilettos all the time. And have like pretty shorts. Right, but why But why would I do that when I love wearing army boots? Because that's yeah. really more my personality. It works for you, it really does. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just really my more personality. You just recently did a collaboration with John Legend and the Roots. I did. And I heard you on Wake Up and I was like, she's got chops for the <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness, what compelled you to collaborate? With that them? was, John's people reached out. I was in Germany, I was actually in Berlin, on the tour with Alicia Keys. He sent me the files and I tracked the vocals to see if he liked what I did and um, he did. And then it turned out to be the first single and we shot the video. I love what you do. And really, I really was so honored because I, I had spoken so often about mm -hmm. wanting to work with John Legend, work with The Roots, work with Common. Mm -hmm. And then we all came together on one song. Okay, so I wanna talk about It Kills Me because that song, personifies a lot of people's relationships. I want to talk about that, but... Yes. <laughs> it was every emotion, every anger, every hurt feeling that I put into that record. And yeah. um, I knew there was something very special about it. And from the time I, I, I performed it, I said, this is the song I've been waiting to sing my whole life. And um, it was just my strongest vocal performance at that point in my career. It was... It was just the height, and I knew that there was something really special about that record, and I knew that people would connect to that record because everybody has been there one point or another. It is one point. point. It is exactly so, that. You know, thank you. So, so I, I, I really felt like for more than it just being a great song, it was going to help a lot of people as it helped me, and um, and it, it did. It turned out to be one of the best things that happened to my career as well. So. I'm really, I'm really happy that people still relate to it. And I think it's just one of those songs that they'll always relate to. This new album is a little bit more introspective and it's a little bit more fun. And um, I wanted people to take me seriously out the gate for my art and my music and my, and my voice. Mm -hmm. And now I want people to see the true performer yeah. and the different sides of Melanie Fiona and the MF Life, which is what it's called, the Melanie and Fiona Life. it's coming out so soon. It's coming out and I'm, I'm really, really, I'm really excited about it just because I feel like people will, you know, if they wondered if I was just and it kills me singer or a sad song singer or mm -hmm. ayo or give it to me right this i think will really solidify them you know believing in me as an artist that is going for a career because that is the plan is for a career shout out peace and love to all my fans in africa and definitely shout out to oasis for spending the day with me what leveling up what we always bring it always bring it and bring it what what